Welcome to our hot swap lab. There's other terms um, instead of hot swappable, so it just depends on which vendor you're working from or working with. You can um, check the documentation depending on your vendor. I've obviously got some Cisco equipment here. This could work with servers also. So the idea of hot swapping is you can add, remove or replace modules or power supplies in network devices without powering them down. So if you've got an outage or some big issue and um, you've got two power supplies, hot swapping means you can take one out and uh, fix it with a known good power supply without having to power down your device and potentially um, affect hundreds or thousands of customers and obviously your own company if you're not supporting different customers. So we're going to use a topology, a layer 3 switch, technically this is an icon for an ATM switch, but a multi-layer switch and a router. I'm suggesting, looking at my version of Packet Tracer, to use an ISR 4331 router and a 3560 multi-layer switch. So for switches, um, 35... Sorry, I got the right one, 3650. And on all of them you can click on a physical view and zoom in and just move your window enough so you can view what the front, this is the front of the device and this is the back, it's just the way they show it. So um, obviously if you were working at the front you'd be plugging your cables in here. And uh, the other one was the ISR router. So I'll click on routers, uh, 4331, this is an ISR. And if I click on a uh, physical, it's already open for that. And zoom in. So what I want to do is, uh, you'll you'll find out from your vendor which ones do or don't support hot swapping. And just check for any bugs as well, because sometimes it says they do support. And it turns out it doesn't work, as I found out when I worked for Cisco. Alright, so on the ISR, drag a network module to an empty slot. And you should see a warning about having to power off the device first. So uh, I'll use the NIM2T and I'll drag it to one of the network slots. Cannot add a module when the power is on. So basically you'd have to power off your device, which if this is a production unit, you would have to schedule downtime, which is a bit annoying. Now the multi-layer switch is a bit different. So you can either I click on here and drag or I'll just drag this power supply here. So I've got one power supply and the green's on. Another supply, power supply and the green's on. This is uh, booting at the moment. I'll just put in a no. You don't really need to do this part but I just thought I'd uh, show you. Now I'll go back to physical and say one of these power supplies failed. What you could do would be take it out and uh, when a new one comes in from the vendor, whatever your contract is, you would add the other one and uh, the device would then have a redundant power supply. And you can see you've got an informational message. Power supply um, A removed, power supply A inserted. So I think that's all we need to look at. You can also do the same actually with uh, network modules on the multi-layer switch. So if we go back to physical view, there's some um, empty slots here. Read the documentation to see what they do and don't do. But you can click on here and the um, description appears just down here. And you can drag modules without having to power the device off. Again, very handy, but you're probably going to have to pay more for a device that supports this feature. I did check on the servers for packet tracer um, none of these uh, support hot swappable I haven't checked the other devices but you can have a look in your own time